The little boy's stepfather couldn't wait to get rid of him, and one day he found a perfect opportunity to throw him into the forest and play for wolves, but his plan was thwarted when an incredible thing happened one night. A young woman named Ava used to live in a small town in Michigan. Although she was still young, she experienced the same hardships in her early twenties and entered a tragic relationship that exhausted her emotionally and financially, but also became pregnant. Since then, she has had to support herself and her children without any outside help. Her only source of happiness is her son Andre, although it is difficult for her to take care of both of them. She never thought she could love someone so much, and the young lady was determined to provide a good life for her young son, but she often found herself on a salary that she could not even afford her basic necessities as a waiter and nanny. She lives in a small apartment with few amenities for rent, groceries for taking her son to the doctor, and her stress has taken its toll on her physical and mental health. However, she continued to work hard, looking for resources, and finally saved enough money to start her own small business, and things began to improve for the young woman and her son, and she could now afford to take care of him and even sometimes give him something to eat. She was determined to provide Andre with the best possible life, and in her years of struggle she never forgot her dreams and goals. Love was the last thing Ava wanted to do, and she concentrated all her energy on supporting her son and building her own business, so she had little time for dating or romance, except one day at a local farmer's home shopping fair where Ava met a kind and gentle man named Dimitri. They chatted next to a basket of fresh vegetables. When they continued to talk, Dimitri's enthusiasm and sincerity immediately touched Ava. She found herself drawn to his quiet strength and compassion. Over the next few weeks, Ava and Dimitri began to spend more time taking Andre to interesting places and exploring the city. They share many common interests and passions together, and as their relationship deepens, Ava finds herself happier and more content than she has felt for years. Dimitri proved to be a good companion and father to Ava and her son. He loved them so much that when he proposed to Ava, he always put their needs and happiness first. She said excitedly that yes, their wedding was beautiful. Ava and Dimitri's life together is full of love joy and adventure. Dimitri dotes on the little boy very much and treats him as his own child. Soon the bride was pregnant with Dimitri's child, and everyone was excited to welcome a new member into the family. Soon, Ava gave birth to a beautiful baby boy. Dimitri was the happiest, and he loved his son beyond imagination. He doted on him very much, gave many gifts to his children, and spent all his time on him. However, Dimitri's attitude towards Andre began to change. The man became estranged, and he seemed unable to stand the little boy any longer. He yelled at him at the first opportunity, and punished him with the least offense, even noticing it and complaining, but each time she did it would cause a quarrel between her. Her husband Eva often wondered what had happened to the lovely man she married, but could not find an explanation. This continued for some time, and Dimitri became increasingly dissatisfied with his stepson. As time went on, the man felt that Andre was preventing them from becoming a happy family, so he plotted to get rid of him. He planned a plan, and all he needed was the best time. As it turned out, a perfect opportunity came when Ava had to take her youngest son to the hospital. Dimitri knew that before his wife came back, he had to move quickly and think quickly, because he knew how much Andre liked outdoor activities in nature. He suggested a picnic to him, and the little boy screamed innocently, ready to go. Once, the little boy was exhausted and fell asleep in a daze. You watched the boy fall asleep, slip away quietly, and leave him in the forest. Andrea slept quietly for several hours without noticing his predicament. He had a dream in which his mother wrapped him in a warm blanket and held him tightly far away, but someone was taking care of him, someone he would never have expected to wake up in the middle of the night, and Ava came back from the hospital to meet upset Dimitri, who was pestering him to talk, and he explained in tears that he had fallen asleep and woke up to find an empty house. And he explained that he had looked everywhere for Andre but could not find him. Ava was very sad to hear the news. 
she couldn't imagine her little boy getting lost. When she thought that he must make up his mind to find his son, the young lady began to cry. She began to look for her son. She involved local authorities and even all their neighbors, sending out a search team, with Dimitri joining them in the search for the children. No one thought of looking for Andre in the forest. On the night of the party, father and father left his real place. Andre woke up the next morning and was shocked to see a large dog lying beside him, but the boy did not know that the dog was actually a wolf. At first he was afraid, but when the wolf rubbed him with his nose, he found it itchy and began to laugh. The mother wolf met the sleeping boy as she wandered in the forest near her. He gave him a gentle push with his nose, and the mother wolf stayed by the boy's side all night to keep him warm and safe from predators. There was something in the wolf's eyes that made Andrea trust her, and he began to tell her how he had lost his way, and how he had missed his mother, hoping to see her, and then he began to cry, and the wolf tried to comfort him, when suddenly she began to walk ahead of him. Andre was confused at first. But she came back again and again, and just then he realized an incredible thing, and she wanted him to follow her, so he did, and this carried him to the village. Ava, meanwhile, never left the window, and she sat there day and night, hoping that her son would come home, which she must have very much hoped for, for a few hours after dawn, she looked up and saw her little boy approaching the house. At first there was a wolf in front of her, and she was out of her wits with fear, but she breathed a sigh of relief when she saw it playing with the wolf. The excited woman ran the fastest. She went to hug her son, and they both hugged each other. The wolf looked for a moment, and turned away, and both mother and son said goodbye to her and asked the son to tell her what had happened, and the little boy chattered excitedly, and he told his mother that they had woken up alone during the picnic and had been saved by the wolf. Ava found out what Dimitri had done and called the police. When Dimitri came home, he was surprised to see the police waiting for him. When he saw the police staring at him, he admitted what he had done. His wife was very surprised that she couldn't believe Dimitri was taken away, while Ava continued to take care of her son, and the female wolf came to visit them from time to time. The family became very fond of her. They went through terrible tribulations, but along the way they found a lifelong friend, and were delighted with the result. What an incredible story this is. If you were lost in the forest, what would you do in Ava's shoes after discovering Dimitri's betrayal? Let us know in the comments below. Dogs and wolves belong to the same family, so people sometimes mistake wolves for dogs. However, this error is sometimes more serious than expected. A woman spent a long time raising a puppy, but found it was a wolf finally. Look all the way in the video. Let's see what the wolf did a year later. It will subvert our first impression of it. In a Siberian village where it often snows, there lived an old lady who lived alone. She has no friends or living relatives. People in this village used to open their doors and welcome any stranger as a guest. This old lady is no exception. Although she is quite shy, she likes to entertain guests. One day, three men came to this old woman's house. The old lady's house is the closest to the forest. She played the role of host very well and provided them with warmth and food. The old woman didn't know that these three men had three puppies. They didn't want to abandon these three puppies in the cold wild, so they saved them. However, when they realized how lonely the old woman was, they decided to give her a present. That's their youngest dog. After saying goodbye to these three men, the old woman was surprised to find a puppy at the door of her house. She was sad when she thought this little dog was abandoned. Days passed and no one came to adopt it. Finally the old woman decided to raise it. The old woman didn't realize it was a wolf. As time goes by, the bond between her and the wolf grows stronger. When the night is cold, the wolf sleeps in the room. It hangs out after dawn. Although the wolf is very gentle with its owner, it has the spirit of its ancestors. Whenever it sees chickens or other creatures with wings, it can't control itself and goes after them. This made the old woman feel uneasy. The wolf would do it when she did not look at it. 
However, the wolf never hurt the old woman, nor would it howl around her. The old woman named it Vachak. Rumors circulated in the village that a gang of criminals was roaming the neighborhood. Villagers were so frightened that they locked their doors. Unfortunately, the old woman did not know the news. She left the door unlocked as usual. She opened the door as soon as she heard a knock. The criminals look at this old woman and had an idea. They saw the old woman alone and thought she was alone, so they wanted to occupy her house. However, they didn't realize that the old woman was not alone. There is actually a wolf protecting her. After a man took out a knife, the wolf was not afraid at all. The criminals knew they were no match for it and escaped. The police successfully captured and punished criminals. This incident changed people's impression of Wachak and it still loved its owner. Since then, the wolf and the old woman lived happily together. This story has a very unbelievable ending. I saw this story online and I'm not sure if it's true. Let's read the next story. The next story is absolutely true. It's about a family that domesticates a wolf. The wolf has been living in a Russian family. Ivan and his daughter have several furry animals in their apartment. The most famous one is their wolf, Sai. They have been raising it since 2017. The wolf is very obedient now. It can even turn lights on and off by itself. When Ivan saw this wolf cub for the first time, he knew that he would raise this cub. But he had two hounds. He knew it's not easy to raise wolves, especially keeping them with dogs, but he's prepared well. Alexander participated in the training program for raising this wolf. Ivan said frankly that the only thing he is worried about now is taking it for a walk Sai is no longer a wolf cub now. Its size and energy reserves are larger, so walking with it is pretty tiring. It's a wild animal so city life doesn't match its nature. They take it for two walks a day, which is a big challenge for them. They never give up because this wolf is their family member. Everyone who knows them knows they love this wolf. The next story is similar to the one about the old Siberian woman. A female wolf abandoned her pups when they are three months old. Amazingly, one person saved these pups. This story is about Alida and Kira. The special relationship between them has touched many netizens. A domesticated wolf gave birth to several pups. Unfortunately, it abandoned them. A wolf pup named Kira was brought to the shelter. This cub is cared for and well nourished here. Then it grew up. The shelter workers did their best to take care of cubs. Although the cub is only a few days old, its life is tough because it loses its mother and home. At this time, Alida, a broad-minded woman, met Kira. Alida knows that returning Kira into the wild is obviously inappropriate because it is too young to hunt. It doesn't have any life skills. Kira can only be fed at this time. Alida said, I'm going to raise it until it is strong enough. For the first time I gave it milk. Kira is only a few weeks old and has a tense relationship with its biological mother, so it has trust issues. Alida regards helping Kira overcome this problem as her mission. She socialized it. It includes meeting a variety of creatures, such as dogs, people, and children. Although the wolf is afraid of new things. With Alida's support, Kira overcomes this fear. Alida is very proud of Kira's progress in growth and maturity. Kira has a stable and gentle mind. It does not attack other dogs, nor does it conflict with them. Although wolves are considered dangerous, Kira was successfully domesticated. Any dog has curiosity. Are you surprised to hear that people live with gentle wolves? It sounds like a dream. That wolf is more like a dog. The next story is about a kind wolf. A woman from West Yorkshire claims her wolf dog is unique because of its gentle disposition. Sylvia Alpha is a young woman. She often takes walks with Sasha, her Czechoslovakian wolf dog. Since Sylvia knew about wolf dogs when she was 13 years old, raising a wolf dog has become her dream. She likes exotic animals, 
but huskies and German Shepherd dogs are not in her consideration. There are two types of wolf dogs that can be adopted in the UK. They are the American Bully Pitbull and the Czechoslovakia Wolf Dog. Sylvia was more interested in the latter because it had a reputation for being easygoing. Sasha is a hybrid of a German Shepherd Dog and a Carpathian Timber Wolf. It's the rarest wolf dog in the UK. Although its ancestors are wolves, Sasha is pretty shy. Sometimes they even flinch in front of the cat. Sasha will try to protect its owner if her owner is in trouble. She said that her pets have enriched her life in the same way that dogs are to other people. In another story, when Sophie decides to adopt a dog, she doesn't realize that her stray dog's ancestors are wolves. On TikTok, one user likes to share videos of her pets. She has two beautiful huskies, but people are more curious about Oleg, her wolf dog. In a video, she said, this dog is 80% wolf, 10% German Shepherd dog and 10% Alaskan Malamute. This wolf dog has more wolf lineage than the Czechoslovakia wolf dog of Sylvia. Although wolf dogs are very intelligent, their owners warn that it's hard to raise them. By the way, wolf dogs are very shy and timid. Unlike wolves, they are not born brave. Another reason people love wolf dogs is that it's cool to have an animal that looks like a wolf. I totally agree with that, but the domesticated wolf is still a wolf. Please think twice when you want to keep this pet.